Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is this quick and easy dessert. It's my pineapple cream cheese pound cake. So let's get started. I have two 8 ounce packages of cream cheese at room temperature. So I have it in my bowl. I also have one can, which is 20 ounces, of the crushed pineapple. I'll take this can of crushed pineapple. Before you place your can of crushed pineapples in with the cream cheese, I'm going to drain the juice out. I'm just draining the excess liquid out. I'm not draining all the liquid out, but just the excess. So now I'll place this on top of my cream cheese. I'll place it in with my cream cheese and then mix it till well combined. So now I have my cream cheese and my crushed pineapple in my bowl, so now I'll mix this. I also have one pound cake, or you can make your own, but I picked it up, and it's 11.5 ounces. So now I have my crushed pineapple and cream cheese well combined. So now I'll start preparing the pound cake, and it's 11.5 ounces. So I have my pound cake on the plate. What I'm going to do is slice it. I'm going to slice it into three sections. So I'll put the first two right here. I have the bottom. I'll take this mixture. I'm filling the bottom half with the cream cheese and pineapple. That looks good. I'll put the middle on top, just press it lightly. Add more of the mixture. As I'm putting it on, I'm kind of also tapping it and kind of making it a little flat. All right, that looks good. Now I'll put the top on. Smooth out the edges. You'll refrigerate this for about four hours or until nice and firm and then you can slice it. Then you can add whipped cream on top. See how simple and easy this was? And this is what I call my pineapple cream cheese pound cake. It's really good. So now I'll put saran wrap on top and place it in my fridge for four hours or until nice and firm. So into the fridge it goes. Perfect. Now I'll slice it. It's been in the fridge for four hours. Look at how good that looks. And you can see how nice it firmed up. Now I have a little whipped cream. And there you go. 
Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.